everyone welcome to the next um, video in this festive food series and we have a rather interesting and quite detailed actually um, item here I'm thinking probably cake with fruit that's how I'm going to do it so down here we have what looks like pears but this one has got something in it can you see it looks like a stone like an avocado with a stone in what I'm going to do is colour them as pears but then put these little bits as if they've got a little red cherry inside them that was my thought so I'm going to grab my cream I think it's the cream that I used for the pears so that's what I'm going to grab there we go keep it out of the light so you can hopefully see and just do the outside I haven't really decided how I'm going to colour all of the other little fruity bits but I thought I would just um do it bit by bit really and decide this was the bit that stumped me the most I think this is going to be quite colourful but um, it might be tricky to make it festive but I'm just going to so just moving something to put my pencil in so uh, we'll see now cherry um, don't really have a cherry red um, maybe I'll just use the madder. I know we used a red violet for Morello cherries before, but let's do a more ready cherry, reddish. And I'm going to try to go around the outside, make it lighter in the middle, but I just do my best to try and make it look a bit more rounded. <clears throat> Excuse me, sniffing. Now in between each one we've got a little circle. You could make that into like a little silver ball, but I think, thinking about the size, if this is a pear and this is a cherry, they could be blueberries, couldn't they? So I am going to do them. Mm. Mm, blueberries? Eh? Let's do them in mauve. I think we'll use this one. It uh, hasn't got any number on it, so small. I'm going to try to make them darker on the edge than the middle but again just do the best you can you might have a better colour in the set of pencils you're using if you're not using polys but I think this will do I'm happy not to combine lots of colours on such a small bit now these ones although the same size as blueberries have got a dot now I'm thinking are they a current like a red current that's got a little black dot on that's how I'm going to do them. Now, red currants are more of an orangey red, I think. Mm, but I don't know if I want to go for those orangey tones. I think I'm just going to grab this one. This is, I can't see the number, bear with me. This is 118. It's scarlet red. Um, is it something scarlet red? I'm just looking. A 118. Um... No, it's just scarlet red. So I've got my list. Now here I'm going to just colour and leave the dot white. I'm going to pop a bit of black in there. They don't look that much like red currants, but they're too small to do much with. I do have a video where I colour red currants um, from um, Worlds of Wonder on the Fruit and Veg page. And uh, I was really pleased with how they came out. But these are a bit different so I'm not going to spend too long colouring them I'm sorry, I just could blow my nose um, and the centres, as I say, I'm going to do black now, the next thing above is a sort of slice of something so I'm having a think about that so here's my black, just for the centre gosh, the light is bad in here today it's actually surprisingly bright outside it's forecast for rain again, I think Tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny. I may go out and do a bit of Christmas shopping, but I may be due a, a decorator in. I'm really not sure. It'd be nice to know. Now, I'm thinking, although lime isn't something that you would eat slices of, I'm thinking it could be candied lime. I used to get these delicious... Um, I'm just choosing my colour while I'm talking. I'm not completely distracted. Um, I'm going to use this... Um, permanent green for the um, skin. You used to get these delicious candied fruits. They used to not be a whole round like this, more like a segment like there. And you would get lemon, lime, orange, 
not sure if you got grapefruit. And they were just like a jelly sweet, covered in sugar, really soft. Mmm, you still love those. I'm sure you can still get them, but because I don't eat um, sugar, I don't really know about what's available. I want a lighter colour for the middle bit. I'm going to use this um, light green. Ooh. Oh, there you go. So hard to see. And we're just going to build that up a little bit so it's visible. And I think it looks quite Christmassy being green. Now these ones I'm going to do is lemons. Again, because I think, it sounds weird, I think yellow is going to match better than orange in this sort of set of colours. I may be wrong. You can do them as oranges if you want. As um, But there I am picking up an orange pencil. What's the matter with me? Come on, think. <laughs> So this is 106 and that is light chrome yellow and I'm, that's actually going to be my darkest yellow. I'm just going to give it a sharp and I need quite a sharp pencil to get in here. I'm trying to make it look quite bright compared with the pears which aren't really bright yellow. There, that's better. It's a little bit neon-y actually but that's okay. I need it to stand out from the white paper and we're going to use a lighter colour we might just use this one the um, light yellow glaze can you see that? oh there you go for the middles so this can be paler I want it to show up a bit but I'm going quite rough Yeah. now at the very top look we've got the We've got these weird long bits and then these circles. Hmm, and leaves. Let's do the leaves. I know what to do with those. Um, I think we'll grab the um, leaf green because it's in the same sort of colour family as we've used for the lime, so it'll tie in a bit. And I'm just going to do them a little darker at the bottom than the tip for those. And I'm thinking, what are we going to have on the top here? Are they going to be berries, nuts? They're going to be silver balls, and what are these long things? Um, yum, 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 yum. Um, I'm thinking we could do them as, I think fruit will be best. I think if we do a red, it's got a red here and a red here. If we do a red up there, there's sort of a consistency through with reds. So I'll do that, and I'll just grab a red. Um, what's this one? This is Pale Geranium Lake. And uh, I'm just going to do all of the shapes at the top in red. So I'm going to try and make it a bit darker around the edge than the middle on these rounded bits. And I'm just going to do these bits in red. I don't know what they are. I've got no idea. Oh, there's my lamp misbehaving. Oh. Sorry. I have, um, I've written to BenQ, they're going to um, replace it for me with a repaired one. They don't replace new for broken, but they give you a re repaired one in replacement, which, oh my goodness, it's done it again, which I'm happy with. Right, I'm sorry, it's really distracting. Um, <laughs> it doesn't want to behave, does it? Um, hang on, I'm going to unplug it and plug it in, hang on, I'm going to stop the video. Right, turn it off and on again, let's see if that's helped. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this as a sort of cake. So I'm going to grab my cake colour. I like using the um, brown ochre for cake. And uh, this bit I think doesn't look like cake. I'm going to just do this bottom bit as cake to start with. Don't press too hard. It's not a burnt cake. Well, hopefully not. There we go. We did a little bit lighter in the middle. I think this next one I'm going to do the same, although this has got lines, so it looks different. I actually want to do it the same as if this is all the same cake. 
and then I'm just going to do that bit on the top a little bit different. Maybe I, it might be just I'm being unimaginative, but I also think if I keep adding loads and loads of different colours, it's just going to get to be a bit of a mishmash. Um, what should we do there? We've got some purple down here and no purple up here. We could do it purple, but I'm not sure. Would that work? Hmm. I'm going to try it. Try it. You can decide if you like it or not. This is the a slightly lighter violet. This is, oh, it's violet, 138 violet. And I actually want to change that colour a little bit, make it darker in some areas. I'm just going to sharpen my violet and show you. I actually want it darker on each edge of each little piece to make it look like it's got a bit more shape. I have to do this bit. And then we're sort of done with that. Now we've got our plate to think about. Now, we could go green metallic because we've got green and green. Should we try that? Yeah, let's do that. We have got one green plate already. I think I'm going to go for this colour. This is the Chrome Oxide Green Fiery. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? But it's nice. Um, I think it's a metallic looking green. So I'm going to go dark on the edge, layer it up. And then less as we go through. Gosh, I'm so hot today. I've got my cardigan on. It was cold when I first came down. The sitting room where I went to first thing when after getting up is the coldest room in the house at the moment. It's because when the children have their computers on, um, it gets really hot in there. So I've turned the radiators down. But um, it's got really, I'm really, I've been running up and down stairs. My son's radiator in his bedroom doesn't seem to want to switch off or turn down. And his room is so hot that uh, he had to open his windows last night to go to sleep. So we need to do something about that. But I've been running up and down trying to fix it and it's not been working. Anyway, there is our fruity cake, I think I'm going to call that one. Um, goodness knows what tomorrow's is. I think it's going to be fun. I don't know what it is. It looks like a pile of sugar, but um, I shall do it as something else. <laughs> but for now, thank you so much for watching. Oh, actually, let's 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 do some. I'll calm down. I'm getting too excited. Let's do some white. I don't know why I got so excited about doing a bit of white. Let's put a little bit on the edge of some of these red ones. Just had a little dog outside yelping. We get a lot of dogs going by. There's a lot of people down the road who have them either walking down our road or along the canal path. They run parallel so you can hear them going by. I think a little bit of white can really lift a picture. I don't know if you can even see any difference, but I can. So there we go. Okay, I am definitely going this time, and uh, but I'll be back tomorrow with the next instalment. So thank you very much for watching. Have a really lovely day and happy colouring. <laughs>